So this is was this was kind of a last minute thing because I'm here because someone is in quarantine. So <laughs> expect some uh, stuttering. Uh, also uh, important to to note this is a work with Matane Yal that actually did most of the heavy lifting here and uh, Michael El Haddad and I'm Tal. Uh, so yeah. So first uh, automatic summarization. Um, a bit of an intro. So in this task, we will uh, only address a specific flavor of automatic sum summarization, which is uh, the single document uh, uh, summarization in the news article domain. And, and what is a summarization, essentially? It's uh, supposed to be a text which is shorter than some kind of a given budget of words. It uh, should contain all the salient information from the original text. It is well written, which is hard to define what it means, and doesn't contain uh, redundant information, which is kind of redundant if we say it's short. So never mind. Um, so in order to do that correctly, we need to evaluate it. Like any, any task, we need some kind of formal evaluation method. So we, 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 we make two, two, distinct, two distinction uh, between different evaluation met methods, which are uh, intrinsic methods, which uh, measure directly the, the quality of the summary, and uh, extrinsic, which use the summary for some kind of a downstream task. For example, uh, if we read an article, can we understand the state of whatever it was about. Um, so this problem is actually very hard because nobody knows exact, exactly what salient means. Uh, different people find different things important. Uh, we don't know how to measure readability of text uh, very well. And uh, even uh, manual evaluators usually don't agree with each other, which is kind of a big thing in this uh, field. So currently, uh, Rouge is uh, like the most common uh, method to do that. Uh, this is like an intrinsic uh, method that uh, was developed in order to, to, to mitigate the fact that uh, annotators usually do not agree with each other. So. In the original paper, they uh, gather as many, uh, uh, art, as many manual summaries as they can, and they, uh, and they uh, find that it correlates with human evaluation if you just uh, find the common engrams between the, the, manual, uh, the manual summaries and the automatic summary. And when you have more manual summaries, it correlates better. They suggest like the, 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 best, uh, the best place the best number is about four, and uh, I think they go up to 10, if I remember correctly, which I don't. And it's currently the most popular method because it's very light uh, computationally. You can just run it, and after a few seconds, you get a result, and everyone compares to that result. So currently, the, the for in order to, to train uh, modern uh, uh, abstractive summarization models, uh, we use a large-scale summarization data set, which uh, the most, uh, the most uh, popular is uh, Daily Mail CNN, which is uh, a data set that contains uh, a bunch of uh, news articles and the part that was in the main site, like uh, whatever the editor decided was important. Uh, so what actually happens is that for each uh, summarization task, we have only a single, uh, a single uh, example, which is not good if we are going to use Rouge. So remember that. And there are also some other data set worth mentioning, like GigaWord is very old and very famous, and Newsroom, which is kind of new, and some other stuff. So this is an example of, a, of text from a Daily Mail. You see the first two sentences of, from the article and the highlight corresponding with them. You can see that it's shorter. 
and share some words from the original uh, article. So if you want to read it, I'm not going to do that. Um, one other thing we, we need to cover is like the classic data sets for uh, automatic summarization, which are uh, DAC and TAC. Uh, they, unlike uh, uh, the Daily Mail CNN data set, were prepared specifically for the task of uh, automatic summarization, which means that they do have a lot of uh, uh, manual summaries for evaluation, and Rouge does perform well on the, those data sets. So we're going to come back to them also. Um, so here I repeat the fact that Rouge is not, uh, not good for the large scale data set because there's only a single reference. So let's go ahead. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to talk about the task of uh, question answering, which we're also going to use later. So essentially the task of uh, question answering is given a text and a question, we need to provide with the correct answer. Uh, the most popular uh, data set is also the CNN Daily Mail. This is what it was originally gathered for. And what they do is just remove the nouns from the, from the uh, highlights and consider it as a fill the blank question. That's the, how the CNN Daily Mail handled uh, question answering. So, yeah, there's a model from 2016 that proved that they achieve a, a ceiling performance on the data set, which means like they, they found out what, they managed to answer all uh, answerable questions in the data set, uh, which yield only to 70 something percent, which is kind of funny. Uh, and now I'm finally able to present our, uh, our thing, which is called APES, which is a, a, a method to evaluate summaries by measuring how many questions we can answer using the summary. So this is the scheme of the method. As you can see, uh, you need a summary and some question and answers. Then we feed it to a QA uh, model get the, how many answers we managed to answer correctly. And by that, we calculate the score of the automatic summary. That's the main, thing, the main takeaway of this talk. So we needed to evaluate if it's, a good, uh, if it's a good method to evaluate summaries. Luckily, there is a, a shared task called the TAC 2011 AESOP. Uh, which is a shared task for uh, exactly this. We given a bunch of uh, manual summaries from, I think it's from the previous year uh, TAC uh, conference. Uh, and, and we measure the cor correlation of the automatic scores to a bunch of manual metrics, which are uh, the pyramid uh, responsiveness, which um, nobody knows exactly what it means, and readability that is for some reason not written here. Uh, so uh, in order to use this uh, data set, we needed to provide the question and answers. So uh, we just did whatever the, the CNN Daily Mail people did, where we created blank uh, questions given uh, manual summaries from, uh, from TAC. So that's a... Uh, that's how we managed to get the uh, questions. So then we managed to evaluate. We did get good scores, which is a Pearson correlation to the, to the actual uh, summaries. But as you can see, some rouge flavors are very, very close, which uh, we, are not, uh, we are not add enough to call it significantly better. Um, but one uh, important thing, when you compare it uh, uh, document-wise, you can see here how, how much each uh, rouge flavor uh, uh, is similar to another. As, as you can see, all the rouge flavors are very, very similar to each other. But our method, APES, is uh, very different from all the rouge uh, methods. That's why we 
think it brings some other uh, some other uh, properties to the evaluation. It's not uh, completely redundant as uh, just different flavors of uh, rouge, which we think it's uh, important. Uh, so we another thing we did is uh, created a model that uh, uh, get uh, optimizes the apes score. So how did we do that? First, uh, the most obvious thing to do, wait, I think it's in the next slide. So, yeah. So the most, uh, okay, no, it was the previous. So the most uh, obvious thing to do is uh, do it uh, using reinforcement learning. But uh, if anyone have any experience with uh, reinforcement learning over sequence to sequence models, it's very slow, and uh, we just didn't get any results. So we ended up uh, doing an analysis of where does uh, what kind of summaries get the uh, low apes scores. So we we figured there are two main uh, problems to get the uh, low apes scores. If you don't mention the entity uh, needed for the answers, you're not going to get a good uh, apes score. It's kind of obvious. And the more problematic, which we ignored, is uh, uh, mentioning the entity in a wrong context, like uh, just getting a wrong, uh, uh, like mentioning it, but not in a way that enables us to answer the question. So we focused on the, on the, on the first thing and tried to, to create a model that uh, is more likely to to mention the entities, the salient entities. So we based our model on the uh, get to the point model from 2017, uh, which I'm sure everyone is familiar with. And we modified two things in it, the, the, the attention layer and also the beam search part. So uh, what is beam search? Everybody knows. Beam search is this thing that we use to avoid the uh, local optimizations when generating words. It gives us a, a broader aspect of, a, of a, whatever we're genera generating. So this is the first thing we, we change. And so, uh, so the first thing we added, sorry, is another attention layer. This attention layer, instead of uh, uh, being uh, um, scaled with a softmax at the end, we use a sigmoid on each, uh, on each, uh, on each uh, entry. And, and uh, we trained this specifically to just be one when a salient, men a salient entity is mentioned. So let's say we get this uh, uh, this sentence, and in the manual uh, summarization, we see that uh, uh, I ate pizza appeared, so pizza is a salient entity. So we train this, uh, this layer to, to be one when uh, pizza is mentioned wherever in the original text. So this is uh, one thing, and we didn't connect it to anything so far. So we use this uh, layer in the BIM search. So the BIM search doesn't only look at the, the probability of each word, it's also trying to maximize the saliency. So in the BIM search, we get bonus for salient entities if the uh, salient entities layer uh, choose to represent them as uh, salient. So this is, uh, these are the changes we made to the model. So, we compared it uh, on the Daily Mail CNN, and we got actually great results. Uh, actually, better than C. It's before all the all the work for German, so it's not here, but they do get better results. Um, but uh, it did get uh, great results. Like the the Ape scores is significantly significantly better, but also the the Rouge results doesn't suffer uh, from it, which is of course great. Uh, ah, it doesn't matter. This is how it relates to my work in Microsoft, but nobody cares. Uh, 
So yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you. <laughs>